Hello my gorgeous Libras, thank you so much for joining me for your May reading with Laurian. It's an absolute pleasure to bring you these readings every month. So this month is slightly different because we have a very big deck, I'm only going to do a 3x3, three three. Um, but this is the Druidcraft Tarot deck. And we're also going to be using a card from the Nature's Whispers Oracle deck by Angela Hartfield. Okie dokie, so let's see what comes through for Libra. So. This is relevant for Libra Moon, Libra Rising and Libra Sun. It's a general reading, so it may not pick up on your specific questions, but I will always recommend looking at the other aspects of your astrological makeup, like your rising and stuff, just to see if they actually pertain more towards your needs. Or however, you're always welcome to order a reading from myself, the link of which is down below to my website. But let's have a look and see what we can get for you Libras this month. Now I'm a Libra rising, whoa hello, uh, <laughs> I'm a Libra rising so we'll see what's coming through, oh okay, so we have the ten of pentacles and the tower, this is going to be interesting, I can already feel it, and I did do a quick meditation before I started this reading just to clear my mind and help me get focused. So we'll see what is coming up for us all this month. They say one more, so let's go. Okay, that feels right to me. Actually, what they're saying is remove these two. So I'll move them to one side, but they're relevant if we need them. Okay, either they're relevant or not, but... Okay, so Five of Cups, King of Swords, Queen of Cups, hmm, Ten of Swords, Nine of Wands, and what do I get? Six of Pentacles. Hmm, okay. A little bit of a mixed bag. Oh, come here. And then we have the Hierophant, well, the High Priest, um, at the bottom here. So this is about your belief systems and maybe some kind of conformity, um, education, self-worth and stuff. So it's worth keeping that in mind as we go forwards with the reading. All right, so see what we've got here so this could be you or this could be somebody pertaining to you I think you may have some sort of clear-headedness coming through here um, but let me start with off these two because hmm five of cups and the ten of swords somebody's gonna let you down somebody's not gonna be very nice about it and I think that you're gonna be quite disappointed with them or you may feel like there's a little bit of a defeatism going on um almost like you you know you're giving up and you're just like oh, screw it i can't be bothered or i've tried and tried and tried and i keep getting the setback here and i'm not sure what else i can do um which is you know a very defeatist view of course but sometimes when you're down you're down there's no other thing that you can do the five of cups though is here to say that you have not lost everything this is a little bit of um just saying conflict and tension and it's saying yes you may have lost some things but not all you know there's some things that are coming through that give you reason to still be happy still be around still do stuff that you want to do just let the grief pass you know just let that kind of disappointment pass by because i do feel that the majority of these cards are pointing to resilience and the feeling of getting in touch with your intuition and the feeling of having that intensity of knowledge and you are very much social justice warriors and I love that about you. You just kind of roll with things and you're, you're kind of able to stand up for what you feel is wrong. Um, but I do also feel that there's a need here that's quite, um, quite strong for you guys really. I mean you've got the King of Swords and the Nine of Wands in the same vein so it could be that you need to stand up to somebody who is quite authoritarian and you want to keep your resilience going and you want to you know persist with whatever you want to do it's like no i'm here i'm gonna say what i want to do you can come at me all you like but i'm 
going to defeat you because he looks like he's you know winning on a chess game here and he has a very unflattering shoes i must <laughs> um but it does feel like you are trying to turn your own destiny towards something positive you're trying to turn your own being towards something of balance something of health something you know something really good but this person may be constantly putting a block there or constantly in the back of your mind as to having something in the past maybe that was an air sign in the past or somebody who really didn't like um your progression who was kind of a stick in the mug stick in the mug stick in the mud um that kind of reason over emotion sometimes a very cold person not necessarily a man but just a very cold person and i think that you're now you've you've fought over that you're actually coming through that and you're going to be feeling a lot stronger within this so i don't think that there's much that you need to do with regards to um feeling defeated by it i think if anything you've come a long way from that and you may not even realize it yet but then we have the queen of cups to tell you that you are coming forwards from it you have a lot of power you have a lot of inbuilt um power and magic and i feel that this calm intuitive phase this very compassionate being is going to come forwards and help you if this is not you already it could be cancerian pisces or scorpio um, aspect of your chart but it could also be somebody else coming in to help you with this um the six of pentacles for me represents a lot about the kind of generosity the charity of time um so you could be giving time rather than money to other people who need it some guidance some much needed intuition or you could be finally rewarding yourself with some guidance you could be meditating you could be bringing in some quietness you know because your mind i think this could also be mind over matter here so it could be that you've been so focused on all the troubles all the problems all the things that you have felt are getting beyond you you could feel that that's not something that you um, were able to overturn uh, but i think here you're coming forwards with a lot more gravitas with a lot more okay i'm able to do this i'm able to overcome this and i'm able to teach myself where the best position is next you know that kind of feeling of i want to go forwards and i want to heal and i want to connect with myself that kind of feeling of your intuition is going to lead you to the better place of understanding what you are doing and how you are coming in so in in a way i suppose these two were right i suppose these two are like yes you've had a shock and you're probably still reeling from the past or still overcoming something but to be honest the ten of pentacles here shows that you're absolutely established you have the wealth of knowledge you have the wealth of you know people around you i think that you can actually just utilize them to move forwards and to breathe again so maybe this had to happen for you to achieve this so if you're looking back going oh you know i wish i hadn't done that or something like that it's gonna lead you here it's gonna lead you to this point so i wouldn't worry too much about that stage to be perfectly honest with you um but let's have a look and see what comes forwards here What does Libra need to know for the month of May 2018? Please give guidance to Libra. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> All right, so which one of these two do I want? Hmm, they have different meanings. I'm going to do both. So the first one, trust your own understanding. So for me, this is all about having that kind of infinite wisdom coming through again from the Queen of Cups. Rise above it, see it from a different perspective and trust that you're taking yourself to the right place and to the right direction. Do not worry or second guess yourself or procrastinate too much because you're worried that it's gonna set you back a stage. The only thing that's gonna set you back a stage is not doing anything and then you'll be delayed. So that's one option. And the second is maintain your childlike spirit. So again, it may be just don't take yourself seriously. Don't take the situation as seriously as maybe you tend to do. 
Libras can be quite childlike, not childish, but childlike. Seeing things in a new wonder, seeing things quite brightly, being quite flirty, loving the beauty in the world and loving the fact that there is so much beauty there. So just maintain your own childlike spirit, feel what it is to be free again. And I think it could be these two combinations that come forwards very strongly. Actually, they're both connected to your third eye. So again, this little lady here, um, you need to trust your own intuition and maybe get more involved in that. Um, but do let me know what comes through for you in May. I do wish you all the very best of luck. Let me know in the comments below as to how things go for you. And as always, I do wish you all the very best. If you would like a reading from me in any question you have, click on the links in the description box to take to my website. But do take care of yourselves. I wish you all the very best and I look forward to reading for you soon.